Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Tessa Knox and I'm the World Health Organization Pacific Focal Point on Vector Surveillance and Control. In this video, I'd like to introduce the Global Vector Control Response 2017 to 2030, also called the GVCR. This was developed by WHO at the request of member states in acknowledgement of the unrealized potential of vector control to reduce infectious disease burden around the world. Today, more than 80% of the world's population is at risk from at least one major vector-borne disease, with more than half at risk from two or more of these diseases. Vector control is fundamental to controlling and responding to outbreaks of vector-borne diseases. And because of the overlapping distribution of these and the impact of interventions on more than one vector, an integrated approach will provide many benefits. The GVCR provides a framework to strengthen vector surveillance and control globally. This integrated approach was welcomed by member states at the 2017 World Health Assembly and was adopted with a resolution. Numerous countries of the Pacific were active in the development of the GVCR and the associated resolution in recognition of the threat that vector-borne diseases pose to populations of this region. The GVCR calls for implementing effective, locally adapted and sustainable vector control. It aligns with the targets and goals of other related strategies, including the Global Technical Strategy for Malaria 2017 to 2030 and the Global Dengue Control Strategy. The GVCR has ambitious but attainable goals to be achieved by 2030. These goals focus on reducing mortality, morbidity, and preventing epidemics of vector-borne diseases in all countries. In order to achieve the GVCR goals, four pillars of action have been identified. These are number one, to strengthen inter and intrasectoral action and collaboration. Number two, to engage and mobilize communities. Number three, to enhance vector surveillance and monitoring and evaluation. And number four, to scale up and integrate vector control tools and approaches. This action is built upon a foundation of enhanced vector control capacity and capability, as well as increased research to ensure tools are adapted to local conditions. It advocates for a renewed focus on improved human capacity at both national and subnational levels, and identifies opportunities to ensure that effective and sustainable vector control are achieved by adapting to these local contexts. The World Health Organization will continue to support member states to enhance vector capacity and control with the aim of achieving the goals outlined in the GVCR and other strategies. We hope that the content of this course will assist you towards this aim. Thank you and best wishes.